Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's summarize what we've learned so far. Let's think of the different kinds of polynomials that we can encounter. We can encounter quadratic, third order, fourth order, fifth order, sixth order, and so forth. Notice that second, fourth, and sixth are even orders. Third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and so forth are odd ordered polynomials, and do, they do have specific characteristics. Let's take a look at all the even order ones. Notice if it's second order, the maximum of roots you can have is two, the minimum is zero. If it's fourth order, the maximum you can have is four, and the minimum is zero. Sixth order, the maximum you can have is six, and the minimum is zero. So all even order polynomials, the maximum number of roots they can have is equal to their order, and the minimum is always zero. Because second, fourth, sixth, and so forth order polynomials all can have the shape of a parabola. Notice here's a fourth order, here's a sixth order, and sometimes you don't need to have any roots if the polynomial it does never if the polynomial never crosses the x-axis. Notice when you have an odd order polynomial, it starts from the negative side on one side and ends up at the positive side on the other, or it starts at the positive side and ends up on the negative side for the y values. So at one point somewhere it must cross the x-axis. So all odd order polynomials must cross the x-axis at least once and therefore a third order polynomial has a maximum number of roots of three equal to the order and a minimum of one. A fifth order polynomial has a maximum number of roots of five and a minimum of one and so forth. A seventh order of course then would be seven maximum roots and one for the minimum. Notice there's different kinds of shapes. Here's a, let's say, here's a sixth order polynomial where you can see you have one, two, three, four roots. You could have three, four, five, six, zero, or one, the, depending upon how it's shaped. Here's a, an example where there's six roots. Here's an example where there's zero roots. For one uh, polynomial to the fifth order, you can have as many as one, two, three, four, five roots. You can have as many as one, two, three. You can have one. You could have two. If one of these comes down, all the way down to the x-axis, but just touches the x-axis and it goes back up, then you notice there's two roots. So it can be anywhere from one to the maximum number of roots equal to the order of the polynomial. So knowing that, again, is very valuable when you start graphing these polynomials. Notice that to find the roots, of course, there's some techniques that we have to use, and we'll show you that in the videos to come, how to actually come up with the values that will enable us to find the graphs and draw these graphs of these various polynomials.